Hey everybody, we're back in the U.S. now. We've been back for, what, a little over a week? Yeah. And uh, we, uh, we're we back in southern Indiana. We're at Liz's parents' house. So we figured just give you guys an update and we're going to give out awards to what we consider the best countries and the best things and best people we've met and everything. So, first of all, uh, we were supposed to fly from L.A. to Louisville, Kentucky to see my mom. But after we landed in uh, L.A., we stayed the night, got up the next day and found out that our flight was canceled because of bad weather in Denver. And there was a whole bunch of rigmarole, like with the next time they could get us on a flight, and then so we couldn't do that time. So then we wanted to get other tickets, and it was way too expensive. So I just got a rental car and drove right back across the U.S. like we did on our way out. So completely unexpected. I didn't get any video from it because I was just ready to roll. But I figured I'd tell you guys what happened. Long car trip. Very long. We drove for 12 hours the first day, 14 the second, and then like 6 the third. So yep. that second day was very long. But it was still pretty fun because it was nice weather and everything. So. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty nice. The first two day, entire days were very sunny and pretty out. The second day was pretty gloomy. Though I think that front from Denver actually was kind of settling, so. Anyway, we're going to be here for a couple more days, and then we're moving up to Lafayette, Indiana. I've lived there before, and we're going to be planning our next adventure. So, you guys can stay tuned. There'll be more videos to come from here. But anyway, on to the award ceremony. <laughs> All right. Uh, first of all, let's do best country. Just get straight to it. Best country. Uh. <laughs> We're fairly unanimous with Japan. We had high hopes for Japan from the get-go. It's always been a place I wanted to go, and it did not fail to meet any expectation. With that said, very, very close second with Singapore. I would tie them, personally. I don't mind the heat in Singapore since it's so close to the equator. It's pretty much tropical, so... He doesn't like heat too much, but it doesn't bother me, so I pretty well put the meat out even. It's, it's hard. They got pluses and minuses both, that's for sure. I could do a video in the future uh, contrasting them, so I may do that. Um, okay, so worst country. It's really hard to do, but there has to be a worst country. I know. I hate I hate saying that because... it's not worst. It's just... it's just the, No country the, was bad. Yeah, there was no country that <laughs> was bad. It's just the one we enjoyed the least. And I'm going to um, go with... I'm going to go with Thailand. Yeah, probably. Uh, I love Thailand, but... Yeah, and it'll be one of the most likely we'll go back to. Even more yeah. so than Cambodia, even though we, we liked Cambodia more. We've just seen everything there is to see in Cambodia. But... Um, Thailand, just for the fact that we just come from Japan, so you had a little bit of culture shock plus insane heat that we had to get used to. So that tore into like our first three or four days just getting used to the heat. Uh, so that was so that was tough. I mean, the islands were great. We got to meet uh, the camps from Because We Camp, which if you don't know who they are, they're a YouTube channel. They're a couple like us that do videos, and we had followed them for months leading up. I, I did a video with them before. I can put a link to their channel in the description if you guys want to check them out. So we did get to meet the camps in Bangkok. That was really cool. It's just, I just hate saying worst yeah. because... It's just least greatest. Uh, for, yeah. Well, actually, technically, we could say Taiwan because we only went to Taiwan <laughs> for an hour or so. So yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan <laughs> is worse than... Uh, Since we didn't actually get to yeah, see it. Maybe one day we'll get to see Taiwan more. Okay, so... I'm going to say, let's say, most surprising country. Malaysia. 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 Hands down. Biggest, best first impression. Because you go, whatever you've probably heard about Malaysia, if you're coming from a Western country, whatever you've heard or thought about Malaysia is not what Malaysia is. Malaysia is, is really awesome. And uh, we only planned one week there. It was kind of a last minute thing almost, just a month or two before we went. And, and that sounds like a month or two. It, last minute considering what we were planning in the grand scheme of things. But uh, I really, really regret only booking a week in Malaysia. I really like Malaysia a lot. It, seemed, it was so much more built up and modern than I had expected. I expected it to be somewhat on par with Cambodia. You know, tropical environment. You know, just everything like 
very low key and beach houses and everything. And probably around the coast, that's true. But Kuala Lumpur was very, very modern, built up first world. Yeah, and you could see them building. You could see skyscrapers mm-hmm. going up everywhere. So, best Airbnb host. Because we stayed 90% at Airbnb. And we talked about this before, and we both pretty much agree we've had great hosts everywhere we went. But best Airbnb host is Numan, Numan yeah. in um, Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to send this video to Numan, and that's a <laughs> shout out to you, man. So thanks a lot. We made really great friends with him and his family. Uh, he said that it was like having extended family in the house, and we felt the same. You know, his wife's an amazing cook. Yes, oh my gosh. yes. So. Anyway, we would love to go back just to see Numan. So, best friend we made on the trip. Best friend we made. We've made a lot of friends in a lot of countries from a lot of countries. And this isn't to degrade any of those that we met, but there's one that we really, really can't overlook. And that is Wendy. Yes. Also yeah. in Singapore. I would say Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> and Wendy, Asher. I would, yeah, I would Wendy Asher and her son, Asher. her son Asher, <laughs> yes. Uh, we made a lot of great friends, but no one we spent the time with like we did with Wendy. No one that we would plan to go meet as quickly as we would Wendy anywhere in the world, whether we're in Japan and she comes there, or she comes to the U.S. and we're here, or we go back to Singapore. Wendy, yeah, we want to hang out with you some more. <laughs> and we did everything from escape rooms to going to the beach. So we did so many different things with both her and her son. And he's absolutely adorable. Mm-hmm. I miss Asher. He's so cute. Yeah. So that's best host, best friend. What about best meal? Huh. <laughs> um, can I like narrow it down to top ten? Top ten? Uh, well, we don't have time for top ten, but... Top five? But, okay, so what we can do... I can't say best meal because we've had so many good meals. I'm going to go with... If I were to if I were to go with anything just off the top of my head, it would be uh, Sayaka and her mom. Yeah. Uh, we stay with our friend Sayaka and her and her mom. That, by the way, if there was a category for best guest that we like didn't pay, because like, we did couch surfing and some hosting... It would be Sayaka's parents because they went above and beyond for us. It Incredible was, hospitality. Anything beyond and my, my My camera wasn't in operation during then, so <laughs> yeah. I didn't get to... I got a few pictures in there. If you go to my video where I'm catching you guys up, you see some pictures. The meal that Sayaka and her mom made for us our first morning after staying the first night there with them was amazing. One of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Um... So that would that would go to the category for probably best meal, even though it's got stiff competition. Uh, but that's the one that just comes to mind. And as far as best, be, let's do best restaurant. That's going to be hard. I got three that tie. I have three that tie. I've got the Yakiniku restaurant that's in Shinagawa. I've got Perfect Dough. Which is a, it's like a burger and pizza restaurant that's on Koh Samet, island off the coast of Thailand we went to. We ate, we were there for seven days and we ate at that restaurant six <laughs> times. Uh, there were a couple days yeah. we ate there twice. And yeah, it was just phenomenal, all the stuff they had. You know, I will always want a fried egg on my hamburgers from now on because that is such a cool idea. Okay, so the third one would be Monty's. Monty's is hmm. a nice restaurant in Kuala Lumpur at the mall near our Airbnb. Uh, very nice. They had like a nice red and white color scheme and very high di- class dining restaurant. I believe I had honey rotisserie chicken and you had... Uh... Um, well, we went there twice, so I can't... I think maybe Chicken Alfredo? I chicken Alfredo, chicken yeah. Alfredo. yeah. It was the only place that we went to twice in Malaysia. We were only there a week, so for us to go to the same place twice... Other than Perfect Dough, that was just because they had so many things on the menu. It was worth going back to Perfect Dough. Um, there is a there is a fourth place I can think of, actually that has come close, and that is uh, House of Kebab in Singapore. That is in on Arab Street, and it's we had a lot of kebabs on the trip, different places, but that place was really really good for the price. It's a little outdoor sitting area. I have some video of it if you go back to my Singapore series. Uh, but 
it's just too hard to pick best restaurant or best meal. So just the ones we named, obviously they come to mind. But I think we can give an award to I don't well, we won't say we won't say worst meal or worst restaurant, but worst experience would probably be Carl's Jr. in Singapore. Okay. Part of traveling is not only seeing what other people have that your home country doesn't have, but it's also seeing how they do things like you do. Like, yeah, the similarities in addition to the differences. Like here in the U.S., you know, we can go to Italian and Japanese and all these places and see how much different they are, good or bad, you know, for better or worse. But when you go to other countries and you compare, like, the American things or something, McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, all those places are either on par or better usually. Yeah. But Carl's Jr. in Singapore was just bland. I didn't yeah. film it or anything, but like it didn't the, taste like anything really. The patty I had a barbecue sandwich and the barbecue tasted like just just liquid. Just just, just bland <laughs> liquid. Sauce. Yeah, it, not even so, there was nothing <laughs> saucy about it. Like it was just a truly disappointing experience, Carl's Jr. And Carl's Jr. Hardee's, I like you guys. You guys are an okay fast food restaurant. Not the best. <laughs> I won't give you that much. But your one in Singapore that we went to, not not the best. Uh, some places that I loved, of course, Nabezo, um, Shabu Shabu Buffet in Tokyo, uh, the kebab place in Akihabara. Yeah, oh, it, we could keep so going on and on yeah. and on with this. We, it's you know. oh, so hard to narrow it down. Okay, so what about let's let, moving right along from food? Best experience, just overall, just. What comes to what out of that last six month window will come to mind every every time you think? I mean, of course, Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat, yeah, the temples in Cambodia. You know, well, you know, you could say uh, best temple for that, but I would go with Mount Inari. That uh, well, yeah, that one too, of course, comes to mind immediately. If we were to make a best experience or best temple category for me, at least, those two would tie because. Anchor Wat is something I've wanted to go to ever since I was a, a young kid. And Mount Inari is something that was just so amazing. If there was ever or, uh, ever a such thing as a spiritual experience, I would say it was there. Because it was just that awesome. So, mm -hmm. I'd say both of those places tie in both of those categories. Yeah, definitely. Um, gosh. It's, there's just hun just hundreds of different separate experiences in the past six months that, I mean, it's impossible to even just think of all of them, yeah, let alone... Yeah, I can't alone... even remember them all. I'd have to watch all the videos. And even then, realize, if you guys go, if, if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched all my back videos, please watch them. If you have been watching them, I'll realize that we didn't film probably 50% of the things we did. We, we probably filmed maybe 40% of all the big, big, awesome things, but we didn't film anywhere close to half of what, what all we've done or seen. We've talked about some of them in some of the videos, but... Not covered them all. So, uh, yeah, best experience is just too hard to nail down. But, um, anyway, uh, most country, country most likely to go back to, again. Japan. Yeah, Japan, but but Japan and Singapore. And, Singapore. and, yes. and, and even Malaysia, I didn't expect that, but yeah. But, but all of them, really, I'd say least likely country would be Cambodia, just because I've seen everything there is to see there. The only thing that would bring us to go back would be to visit a few of the people that we've met there. Yeah. Visit yeah. some friends back there, but as far as the country itself... There's not much left to see. Yeah. There's not a whole lot there, but what is there is beautiful. So. Yeah. What, what's there is worth is worth going to. I would, I would really recommend you go to Cambodia if you get a chance. You know, it's, it's rough. It's a little bit above what you would consider a third world country. I mean, they're getting there. They're developing, but it's a slow process. So, anyway, we've done everything from drive across the U.S. to fly to Japan and then Southeast Asia and trains, buses. We've had rental cars along the way, you know, gone on hikes, been Walked to the ocean. all yeah, over. Yeah, been to the <laughs> ocean, been up mountainsides. We've done a lot of stuff in six months, guys, and uh, completing this update. All I can say is if you're planning something like this or if you're considering something like this, I implore you, follow through with it. You won't regret it at all. I was always the type of person that 
had wanted to travel but never thought, oh, I, I'll never have the opportunity to, never really gave serious consideration to it. And also a lot of it was because I was afraid to. And I was pretty nervous going into it, but honestly, in a way, I kind of feel like after this past six months, I am ready for anything and can handle anything. Yep. So, pretty <laughs> much. It'll, it'll, for anything. it'll yeah. do that to you. It'll change you in that way. Yeah. Um, there's nothing like it. And no one on their deathbed ever lays there and thinks, gee, you know, I wish I worked that extra overtime. Or, gee, I, I, I sure am glad I got that extra two hours of sleep on Saturday, whatever, 1999, whatever. You know, like no one ever thinks that stuff. They always just think about the stuff they didn't do or they think about the stuff that they actually accomplished. The big things in yeah. life. Yep. So try to cut down as few of the uh, things you don't get to do. Do all the things you want to do. With that said, we're going to end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching Travel and Root Beer, and we'll catch you guys later.